Well, talk about a dramatic way to enter the second round. The Washington Capitals jumped ahead of the Rangers in the final second at Madison Square Garden last night. That's right. It was a lot of fun. But as the hometown hockey team gets closer and closer to the Stanley Cup, scalpers are trying to get deeper and deeper into your pocket. And Seven on Your Side consumer investigator Kimberly Suters reports on what fans need to watch out for. Ovechkin out in front. They score! A jaw-dropping last-second game-winning goal. Everyone thought it was going to go to overtime. Winning in New York, it's not better than that. I screamed like a girl. Inspiring Caps fans to go-go. <laughs> Searching for seats for the semifinals. Make you want to buy tickets? Uh, absolutely. Yes, I am, actually. Very excited they made it to the second round. Make you want to buy tickets to Monday's game? Yeah, it does. You selling? I'm not, but everyone from the Caps official site to StubHub to Craigslist is. I'd probably go 150 each, between one and two. I've just been looking on the secondary market. But before you rush out to buy those tickets, the Washington Capitals are warning of fraud. They have seen a substantial increase in ticketing fraud since the playoffs began. That would be devastating, trying to get through the gate and not being able to. That's kind of why I, I go directly to the source with Monumental. How can Caps fans be sure they have a legitimate ticket? Well, number one, make sure that you are not buying your tickets on a site like Craigslist that has no refunds at all, where you really don't know who you're dealing with, and most of the transactions are in cash. If you are sold a bad ticket, the National Consumers League urges you to report it. These scalpers are not only taking fans' money, they're also taking their time, because people who go down there who may have traveled in from out of town for this, and they're committing a crime. But Steve Roth may still take a chance. I'm a fan of Craigslist, but after seeing that, maybe not. Uh, a trustworthy scalper, <laughs> which I know a couple of. In Northwest, Kimberly Suters, ABC7 News.